Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We are currently out bailing with the new baler. I didn't throw anything yet this morning because I've sort of just been trying to get used to everything again because it's still all a little bit new. But yeah, we're just over, this is a 38 acre block, but someone actually came yesterday and asked if uh, we were looking for some extra grass. I didn't want to turn it down, so we said yeah, we'll have it. Um, so yeah, it's not bad grass. It's gone to seed a little bit. Um, but it doesn't look too bad, I'll flip the camera around. So yeah, you can see it's not used, well, Kieran's over there mowing still. Um, but you can see the rows, this field's a little bit not so green, but that's a bit greener over there. So yeah, it's pretty good, um, a good thick crop here anyway. We're on 18 bells and I've done this little two acre bit and that was it. So now I'm getting into the bigger fields. Yeah, the bale is running fairly smooth. The wrap keeps breaking on the back every so often, which is a little bit frustrating, but uh, I'm not sure if that's the wrap or the bailer's fault, to be honest. But, uh, it seems to be wrapping okay now. Yeah. So off we go again. It seems strange not stopping. I keep trying to hit the PTO when I go to wrap, because that's what you have to do with the old one. But um, this one you don't have to. We can just keep moving. So yeah, Tim is over there raking. I don't know if you can see him there in the fear. <laughs> it's been a um, really handy little tractor that to have. Perfect for the rake. And yeah, I don't know. If we, not sure where Kieran is. He's over there somewhere. Oh, there you go. Just there. He's just mowing straight in front of us. Can do with a uh, front mowing in these fields because they're quite big, flat, square fields. They're real nice fields. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to crack on through this and try and bash this out pretty quick. And yeah, see how we go. Right, that's the first field finished. Kieran just came over for a chat. He said it's a little bit rough in that next field, but he's nearly finished mowing it. Um, Tim's just finished up the baling. I was just trying to keep an eye on that wrap, but it's only every so often it keeps breaking, so it's not too bad. It's just a bit of a pain. But yeah, we're cracking on fairly well. Should easily get done today over here. Tim's gonna hop back in the little fiat and get raking, and I'm gonna get back in the baler. Tim's just unfolding, there's Kieran finishing the mowing. He's only got this last little bit to do in here, and then he's got to go into that field over there. It's been absolutely perfect, that little bit for the rake. Right, we've just hit 100 bells, and I would say I'm about a third of the way through, so yeah, we're probably going to be at 300 bells here. Um, but it's 4.48 and we're on 100 bells, so we're at, uh, not 4.48, 2.48, 14, 14.48 is what I mean, and we're on 100 bells, so we shall see at 15.48. Well, basically 10 to 4, how many bells we're on, so then we can get an idea of how many I'm doing an hour. Um, I'd like to say 50th, but it's hard to say at the minute, so that'll give us a good idea of uh, how, much <coughs> how much quicker this one is um, than the other one. But yeah, it's all going smoothly. That uh, wrapping thing has sort of sorted itself out. Seems to be working fine now, so yeah, all going well. Kieran's in that field there mowing. Tim's over there raking still. So my hour alarm just went off. I had um, 40 bells, but I've been getting out quite a lot because the rack keeps breaking, so I have been playing around with some settings to try and rectify that, but we'll see if that's worked now in a minute. Um, 
yeah, 40 is still a lot be better than the old Bailey, even with all the problems I've been having, so, um, yeah, still just niggly little things, I'm sure we'll get there eventually, yeah, it's just what happens when you uh, new kit, but hopefully, what I've been playing around with might be the trick, it's just, the right hand side of the wrapper on the back just keeps breaking, um, wrap all the time for some reason, I'm not really sure why, um, but yeah, well, you shall see. Anyway, yeah, 41 miles an hour, 141 in total, um, which is pretty good going. I did pause the timer because as you can see, it isn't 10 to 4, it's 5 past 4, but I had to change both lots of wraps, so I paused the timer while I did that because I didn't think it was uh, fair to take that into account because it takes 10 minutes ish to change the wrap. Um, so, yeah, but other than that, it's going smoothly. Still got a fair bit to do, but uh, definitely cracking on through it now. So I've just run out of wrap on the back here. I thought I'd just sort of show you changing the wrap. So it's just a safety pin in here. And then I've got to push this lever here and get that catch. Sorry, get that catch on there, which takes the rollers off of the wrap. And then this one just smacks up and lifts up and that one will pop out. And then in here is all the wrap. As you can see, and then these, trying to do this one hand is a bit awkward. They just slot down there like that, and then we just lift it on. Well, I'll have to lift them on and show you afterwards because they're too heavy with one hand. So that one's on there. Flip this back round, safety catch back in. And then there's a picture here, just clean it off, which shows you the way the wrap goes in around the roller, so find the end, which is here somewhere. Goes around that one. Kind of awkward to show on camera. Well, the wind's not helping me out. Here, come on. Around that one. This wrap seems quite thin. As you can see, I'm pulling holes in quite easily. Um, the thing that we always have, pull that through, and then we just put the pressure thing back on, which takes that cap off there, and then just pull that out. And it's quite sticky, the wrap, so you can just sort of stick it on there, like that and that'll stay and I'll do the same for that side so yeah there's two on here which obviously makes it quicker because it doesn't have to wrap around as many times to get four layers oh everything's very hard to do one handed but yeah I'll get that other side done and I've been getting about 60 bells for every change which is I think better than the old one which is strange I would have thought it would be the same because the wrapping saps pretty much the same as the old one but yeah it's not a bad thing because wrap's expensive as ever so the more the more bells we can do per roll the better right that's that field done we're on 187 bells which is pretty good going looks like some fair rows in here as well you see it's an absolutely beautiful day real nice blue skies i think this is rye here it's real tall but i think our local digester has this um, I'm sure that makes the forager bark a bit. Um, but yeah, this is the same. Pe same people own that. They rent that to their digester. And yeah, luckily they asked us if we wanted some grass. So yeah, another. It's gonna be 250 bells, I reckon. So yeah, you can't complain. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on with this one, and we'll see how much we got. It's currently quarter to six. It's gonna be half eight, nine o'clock by the time I'm done. I should think. I was just driving past these fields and I believe this is strip till maize, which they do a lot of in New Zealand. Tim was telling me about it, who's the chap in New Zealand in the last video, who's just helping us out. So essentially they just till the strips where the maize is planted instead of power hiring everything, um, which obviously needs GPS to stay in line perfectly, but to me it seems quite a good idea. They seem to have tried a lot of it, but none of it's coming up yet, but I'm not sure I wouldn't know how long or if it's even been drilled it might have just been tailed I'm not sure but um, it'd be interesting to see how that comes along. 
Right, it's the next day now and we're back on the Vela. Absolutely lovely day again. I think it's might get up to 30 degrees today, so pretty warm. Again, Kieran's mag over there, Tim's racing in front of me, and we're just getting it done to be honest. Um, yesterday, I think we had 254 bills. Yeah, we had 254 bells, which is pretty good going. And um, off of 32 acres, I think it was, which was not too bad. But yeah, considering it was bells we weren't really expecting to get, uh, I was pretty pleased with it. Typical, it's locked up when I'm uh, trying to talk to you guys. Yeah, so yeah, I wasn't too upset about that. I thought you this is the biggest film we've read now we're in. See Tim over there with his top off. I think it'll get a little bit hot in the beer. But yeah, this is the biggest film we've read. It's, I think it's 20, 24 acres. So hopefully another 200 bells off of this one. Um, that'll be good. But yeah, we're on point for it pretty well. We've made it certainly not bad. They're not bad size rows. Um, but yeah, it just means I can really kick on with it quite well. Kieran's over there, um, don't know if you can see him, just coming over the hill there, um, he's got a little bit left to mow, he's cracked on quite well with that, and yeah, hopefully it won't take very long over there, and hopefully nothing goes wrong, but anyway, I'll catch up with you later. Not a bad view from this hill as well, you can see all across the hills over there towards um, the village. There's little Tim down there in the fear, he's definitely getting hot, he's topless in there. I think the air can't need to regas it because it's not great. But he's not doing a bad job. Nice straight lines for someone who has GPS. Um, and Kieran's mode is pretty straight as well. There's Kieran over there. Just see him now. So we've been going about 40 minutes. I've done 32 bells. And that's when I stopped to just clean the baler off. So that's pretty good going. I reckon I'll be at 50 bells an hour pretty easily which is a hell of a lot more than the old baler, which used to be about 35 I spent an hour. I've just got to remember to run a bit of a hill to try and drop these bells off on the flat bits. Otherwise they'll be chasing me down the hill and uh, won't want to we'll run away when I'm coming up the hill. Because it's just sort of slopes down here, this bit I'm on now. But yeah, all is going well. That man in there is dream living. Not a bad office view, to be fair. Keen for the new robot. Lining up, look. Soon, girls, soon. Oh, all... So it's the next day, we're back again bailing. Just seems never ending, but I do quite enjoy bailing, so it's no big deal. Especially with the new baler, because it's certainly speeding things up. Uh, we're only just down the road, not very far from the farm some ground we just started renting this year um, so I'm bailing this up there's about three fields here I think it's like 18 acres something like that um, and then Tim's come over to start picking bells up and then you can see him back there so he's behind the wrapper he's there with the handler he's gonna pick these up straight away uh, I'm a little bit worried about people messing with the bells because I don't really know this ground very well and I know they've had problems before so I just want them picked up and then no one can mess with them um, so yeah we're gonna get this done Kieran is raking and I think Kirsty's mowing um, so hopefully I mean she hasn't done a bad job in this field so should be okay um, so yeah we're gonna crack on through and see what bells we there's Tim loaded bells um, that squeezer, he only bought, I think we had it new, last, not new, new to us last year, um, but it was pretty much in new condition. Um, but we always used to pick them up the opposite way, so we'd pick them up like that, and put the fork underneath them, and stack them the same way on the trailer. But we've been doing it like this, uh, this time. But what are people's thoughts? Is that better? Is that worse? In, in the yard, as you've probably seen in the videos, we stack them. <coughs> Bless me. We stack them that way. But on the trailers, we're that way. 
because I worry stacking them that way in the yard will um, they'll tip over. So we've always done it like that. Um, but yeah, what do other people do? It's Kirsty back from the mower and Kieran with the rake. Bailing over that side now, gone at the other side of the road. I'm just trying to help Tim get out of this uh, gateway. So a bit dodgy. Just about managed to get out of the gateway. Tim had to reverse round and then he's gone down there to turn round. Um, it's a bit tight. But yeah, we got out in the end. I don't think we would have got out without the handler because um, the handler's got four wheels steer. This gateway's not too great either. There's quite a big ditch either side. So I'm not sure we might have to load on the road here. But here he comes. We can't put one on the top there because the uh, handler won't lift it up with one there. So he's got it on the front instead. But off he goes. Right, let's get back to Balin. Got this field, it's not very big. Long and narrow, bit of a funny shape. So Tim is back again. Here he is, happy as Larry. He loves it. Oh, he wants he wants to talk to me. How can I help? You're on camera, mind. Don't jump on the nails by the heat there. By the heat? Why are you that lazy that I've got to do it? <laughs> He's so lazy. Typical New Zealander. So yeah, Tim's stacking them over there. Oh. It's your diesel, not mine. <laughs> oh, so he wants me to, to put them there. So he doesn't have to drive so far. Yeah, he's going to stack them there by the gateway because this gateway is even worse than that one over there. So we don't think we'll, um, we'll get in there, in here with our big trailers. So we're going to stack them by the gateway then we can load them quickly into the road without blocking too much traffic it's only a really quiet lane there's nothing really down here other than fields so uh, it shouldn't be a problem so yeah he's just stacking them there and uh i'm going to carry on bailing that's the last of these three fields finished um so quite pleased with what we had here 94 bells in total which is way more than i expected so yeah this year's really been swings and roundabouts with uh some fields yielding more than we expect and some fields yielding less so I mean I guess it all evens out in the end um, but yeah these this is the first year we've run in these fields these three so um, pretty good yield considering uh, it hasn't had any fertiliser or anything so um, yeah I don't know how it was treated before by the previous people who rented it but yeah not bad at all I've got one more field to do today and then I'm done it is half past five but I'm going past the farm so I need to go back and get some wrap so I'll go and do that because I'm nearly out. Right, I've just popped back the yard to uh, get some more wrap. Oh, no, I've got my phone. To get some more wrap. Um, Tim's got the rake on the T7 now. He's got a bit of an upgrade from the little Fiat. And we're heading over to our last field, which is only over the other side of that hill there. Um, I don't think there's that much there. And then we'll be done for the day. But yeah, we just had something to eat quickly. It's getting peckish, it's just gone quarter past six. Uh, hopefully we'll be done by half seven, eight o'clock. But yeah, Tim's enjoying the aircon in the T7 because the Fiat was getting pretty sweaty in there. Made it to the field. This is actually not bad. There's not loads here, but it's some quite nice green grass. Tim's away in the T7 in the 210. Sure, he's much preferring now than the little Fiat, but. Kieran mowed this earlier, so that's why Tim's got the T7 because we took the mower off. So, anyway, I'm going to make a. Well, it's a lot thicker than I expected. I came and looked at this maybe 10 days ago and it wasn't very thick at all, but it's pretty thick now. Um, there's going to be a fair few bells here. Kieran said it was thick, but I couldn't tell if he was joking or not, but he definitely wasn't joking. Lovely evening for it. A lot of bells so far. It's certainly been pretty thick. Right, that's me done for the night. 180 bells done total. I think there was 
uh, 86 just in this field. That's pretty good going. It's, I would say it's about eight acres maybe. Um, so yeah, fair few. Nice sunset. It's currently just five past nine. I'm going home for tea. So I'll see you in the next clip.